I'm Sophia, I am a design researcher for the Diverse Data Programme at Genomics England. So I actually started uh, at art school in uh, doing a foundation study at Kingston and I thought my career, I was like, I'm going to be a fine artist, I'm going to work in galleries and I'm going to bring art to the masses. Didn't happen. Um, and while I was there, I went to... I went to Cambridge University and I studied history of art and hated it, really hated it, really quickly fell out with the discipline. And I think that was one of the times where I really felt like, huh, what I considered a subject and in all its breadth and diversity and, and, and beautifulness has actually been cut down into a programme that I, I don't agree with and I can't really learn from. So I actually made the decision to quit the course and I ended up studying history and philosophy of science, still at Cambridge. And I did two main modules. One was folk medicine from the medieval period and one was the ethics of the NHS. And people always say that is a weird combo, but it really, I think, worked because I think a lot of the way that health systems were thought about back in medieval times, we could learn a lot from now. Um, when I graduated, I started um, a studio called On The Mend uh, with a friend of mine and it was a design studio that brought health awareness outside the hospital walls. So we did a lot of events, um, for example, for ITV, looking at NHS staff and how a lot of their skills are transferable across society. We made a giant game of operation, which is a board game where you pull out organs. Um, but we made it specifically based on a South Asian brown skinned woman and highlighted all um, like thalassemia and different diseases that affect those communities that aren't talked about. Um, we did a lot of things. And then I went to work for uh, McKinsey as a healthcare designer, focusing mainly on diversity and healthcare um, in various public organisations. And then um, just realised that it was really hard to do a lot of sustainable work in diversity when you were working in quick sprints which is why I've decided to go in-house at Genomics England um, on the diversity team there because I really believe long term in what they're doing. I find this quite a tricky question to answer because I very much identify as a woman of colour um, but I'm also aware that I have a load of white privilege in that I'm mixed race, I'm part Vietnamese, I'm part English Irish and I think that warrants a privilege of maybe being assumed to be white when that is not the case at all. Um, and what that means in a health data context is that a lot of the time I think people become very comfortable expressing very racist and controversial views to me that I know that they wouldn't have said if they knew I was Asian or knew that I was from what I call a minority background. Um, so it can be kind of challenging to keep your cool in that sense and then when I argue back sometimes getting the stigma of being like a a woke girl in her 20s that doesn't really know what she's talking about and I consistently have had that boundary of what does it mean to bring your full self to work and really by doing that bring the richness of what we can get from our profession of highlighting the diversity and, and the new ways of thinking about things grappling that with what he has traditionally meant to be professional and to be a good researcher.